been crazy. We are having a great respect for the Election Commission of India, all constitutional bodies. The standard of conducting the election in a fair manner was really taken by, seriously was taken by Sri and Session, who he was the election commissioner. From the very outer side, one may come into the conclusion that the, yes, this time also fair election has been done. Repeatedly during the election, all we, including our leader, the Honorable Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, raised so many questions about the role of the Election Commission of India. Now the question is whether the Election Commission of India has conducted in ele election in 2024 impartially. In our state, Election Commission of India had acted on the basis of the desire of the Bharatiya Janata Party leaders. A good number of police officers, right from DG to OC, were transferred because of the desire of the BJP leaders. Yeah. And not only that, not only that, before effecting such transfers, the leader of the opposition of the state assembly, in a public speech was used to say, these officers will be transferred, these officers will be transferred, these officers will be transferred, these officers will be transferred. You know, now, wait, uh -huh. public speech, uh, right here. public speech, he was telling, and the election commissioner of India has acted in terms of the dictation of the Bharatiya Janata Party leader. Election Commission of India, every stage, every time, Election Commission of India has intervened, interfered with the election process. Not a single one has been spread. But when we lost the complaint against the BJP candidates and the BJP leaders, no step was taken. No step was taken. In a marginal winning, marginal win. Marginal win, 10,000 seats, 7,000 seats, 8,000 seats, 8,000 votes. They have won because of the blessings of the Election Commission of India. Otherwise, you would not have seen even the 12 percent from the Bharatiya Janta Party from the West Bengal. What the CISF has done, sir? CISF, CISF, they were threatening the voters. Go and cast votes in favor of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Do you know? Do you know in the fifth phase of election? That is on the date of my election and Sasha Amal's election. Do you know? Previous night, CISF entered into the house, molested, yes, molested two women. One is at Uluberia and one is at Yes, 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 yes. And one is at my constituency, Jangipara. My constituency, Jangipara. It is the same. It is the same to Mr. Amit Shah, the Home Minister, that his CISF have entered into the house. Man, me, eh? Ek bit. Ek bit. Ek bit. Ek bit. Are you listening, brother? Two CISF officers were arrested. Man, ye sadashe, you are very sadashe. Sir, apan ko ek. Why won't you say it? Why won't you say it? Say it. Two CISF officers were arrested. Two CISF officers were arrested. Now, sir, just to why the why the seventh phase election? Why we have objected to that? Why the seventh phase election? Election was conducted for three months to accommodate whom? To accommodate whom? Of course, I will speak. Members, I'm extremely happy to make a, make my maiden speech on the occasion on address of Honorable President of India. Firstly, I would like to object to the words of Kalyan Banerjee ji. Today he has commented on our Honorable Chief Minister 
Nara Chandrababu Naidu Garu, and also for misleading the House that he was arrested by ED and CBI. But our Honorable Chief Minister Nara Chandrababu Naidu Garu was arrested by APCID in my very own parliament, that is Nandyal. Nandyal parliament is a very, since decades, it has been Congress and YSRCP strong, strongly ruled. But I would like to question Benerji ji, why do you think Nandyal parliament has won seven on seven assembly seats? And why do you think I have won more than the majority he was boasting about today? Why do you think people of Andhra Pradesh has given clear mandate by Telugu Desham Party with NDA Alliance and Jana Sena winning 164 out of 175 seats and 21 out of 25 parliament seats? He has also mentioned, he was very sarcastic. I wish he was here today at this session, but uh, he was very sarcastic today. He mentioned our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji is walking with two clutches and one clutch is Telugu Desham Party. Sir, remember, I thought you were the senior most leader with immense knowledge, but please remember that the clutch you are talking about is not a clutch, but it's a sword. And as you can see, the world has witnessed our leader, Nara Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, who has transformed Hyderabad and Sikindrabad into a IT or Biocon hub. How he has improved the farmers' lives, how our per capita income was increased. So, I would also like to remember that the youth of our state have been improved. They've got, they were employed under the rule of Telugu Desham Party. Our country coronates to be the third largest economy very soon. And I'm sure Telugu Desham Party is going to become the jewel in that crown under the leadership of Nara Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, Pavan Kalyan Garu, and the future of Andhra Pradesh, Nara Lokesh Garu. For the past five years, I would like to remind every citizen of Andhra Pradesh, when the country was developing YSRCP, the past government, for the past five years, it has missed the development bus. The YSRCP, due to its unhealthy fiscal policies, now the state we have acquired is in severe economic crisis. As you can, as I can say, Amaravati, ma'am, Yes, is there any state without a capital in this country? That is our Andhra Pradesh. I need one minute, ma'am. This is the first time I'm speaking. This is the maiden speech. It's just one minute. The Am Amaravati, the foundation was laid by our Prime Minister and Nara Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. But then, after YSRCP came into power, they have opted for three capitals. And these three capitals, not even a foundation, not even a st stone was laid. And Polavaram project and 33,000 fertile acres of fertile land was donated by our Amaravati farmers, which has gone to waste. And Polavaram project, not even 70% was completed by Telugu Desham party, but not even 1% was, uh, uh, not even 1% was built. About 13,000 crores were given in, the, in July 15, 2022 to YSRCP party, but it was completely used for corruption. And 8,000 8, crores were, used, were given from the central government to the Panchayati Raj, which not even a rupee was used for our village panchayats. Not even a single, not even a single industry, not even a single IT company, especially in my region, Royal Sima region, not even a single IT company was uh, brought by the YSRCP. All we saw was vendetta politics, liquor mafia, sand mafia, and also land mafia, but nothing else. As you can see, YSRCP party, Yuvajana Shramik, 
right to party youth of our state were we have gone begging then shramiks we have seen their hunger suicide and right and our farmers we have Prasad seen ji. our avdesh prasad we have seen thank our you. suicides of the thank farmers you. thank you so i only Abdesh request Prasad my only request is i would like the union minister union government to support our state